Welcome to Raw Impressions, Monday's music mini episode. Great. Give me all your raw impressions. It's Mini Music Monday in Melbourne. It's min- <laughs> Melbourne. 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 Mini Music Monday in Melbourne. Melbourne. 18th. It's the 18th of February. <laughs> Is that Monday? Is the 18th Monday? No, it's Sunday. What? Wait, so Monday is... It's really hard to wrap your head around these, this time zone stuff. I know. It's really hard. Well, I'm just saying, since we're recording this on, what day is it? 17th? For you, you, it's Saturday. For me, it's Saturday. Oh, okay. So yes, Monday will be the 19th. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. President's Day. And I'll be That'll there be Mini you. Music Monday. It's not going to be President's Day for me. I know. Then you'll already be on Tuesday. This is just crazy. I can't keep up. <laughs> oh my gosh. How are you doing down there in Australia? I'm pretty good. We we yeah? just we did our second show last night our of our two show stand Dinosaur Junior. The, Are you guys the doing North, the Where You Been North album Co- or is it just regular stuff? Yes. Yeah. Where oh. You Been album. Yeah. We're killing it. We're killing that record. We did a That's we did fun. a very we did a very, very nuanced performance of that record last night. It was probably the most dynamic Dinosaur Junior show I've ever played. I don't know if anybody noticed that. I don't know mm-hmm. if it came across that way. Because it's mm-hmm. hard to tell when you play a big old theater with big amplifiers it's a bit of a struggle i would imagine but for me as a player it was the most nuanced like just really a fine performance because that record has a lot of songs that are that can be quiet we actually played the Mm -hmm. we played one of the quietest versions of uh what's that song called get me Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that we've ever played and I thought it was, and then we, then when we played the songs after that, we just tore it up. We played the wow. craziest, like pretty f- punk rock versions of all these other songs after that really fast. Aww. So I, I really, I really enjoyed myself. Um, Murph and Jay played great. Um, it was really, really fun. And I'm, that's I'm, amazing. Yeah. Aw, and you're in Australia. Cool. How exciting! Yeah, and then, uh, so Taylor last night was night two of Taylor's three in nights Melbourne. in Melbourne. In so Melbourne, just breaking crazy attendance records. Like she's playing to like almost a hundred thousand people a night, and wow. you know what? I see a lot of them on the streets. When we drove home last night, it was like. Uh, there was just the sidewalks were lined with women in sparkly dresses, sparkly <laughs> silver dresses, as if they were walking mirror balls. Mirror ball being oh. one of one of Adele's favorite Taylor Swift songs. It's true, it is. I'm a mirror Beautiful ball song. bitch. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You're a mirror ball bitch. I got I got um, back to the hotel and uh, and uh, I was fortunate enough to ride up to my fifth floor. Uh, room with two I'll say girls they were girls with huge huge one had a Taylor Swift sweatshirt that she had purchased at the show the other had a t-shirt and I said did you go to the show and they said it was sick (laughs) meaning I had to explain this to Adele that means good it means it was crazy cool yeah that's great yeah so I didn't uh, know if that meant like it was bad or sick no. like sick you haven't heard sick is you like, haven't heard the kids say sick. ah sick i mean that's actually a pretty old thing i know sick, but i man. that was I a didn't sick know if in australia it had the same meaning you know well australia has it has a it's it's kind of like california they have a lot of like you know uh skateboard and surf language that kind of mm. works i mean its of way course into... i've heard like sick <laughs> yeah that's exactly what it is yeah but of course, yeah yeah I just, I didn't want to assume that I knew the Auss- Aussies. Is that what you say? If you're from, mm-hmm. like, a, you're an Aussie? Aussie. Aussie. An Aussie. Yeah, so I 
I've only ever spoken to strangers in elevators probably maybe, maybe two other times in my life. And that's I, really I, unlike you to actually approach or did you did you say the first thing? I did. Wow. I said, did you go to the show? <laughs> and, and then they were like, did, they said, did you go to the show? And I said, no, I was playing my own show. And then they were they seemed interested that I was a musician, but it was a very short ride. So I couldn't really get into it. I said, no, I was playing my own show. And I said, I'm just I'm I feel very lucky that I'm in. It's very it's it's crazy to be in town at the same time the, as Taylor and to experience timing this. is wild. Yeah. And I then know. she's going to be in Sydney when we're in Sydney. I know, I know. And then, well, since Izzy's too young to hear the podcast, um, it turns out Dinosaur, Dinosaur Jr. and Taylor Swift have the same booking agent. Mm -hmm. Wild. That's right. And uh, <laughs> I mean, that doesn't actually, mean a whole lot. I mean, that's not. You have a day off and you, you could actually go see Di uh, Dinosaur Jr. You could actually go see Taylor Swift. For $400 which is a real real bargain that's a, that's a steal for but you know he's not going out of like sympathy solidarity for me and izzy i also here's the thing it's like <laughs> you don't want to sit I, through a three-hour concert you don't i don't want to stand yeah and, and and experience that i feel like and even i feel like the eras i mean the eras tour movie <laughs> like just watching three or four songs on that was such an emotional experience that i don't know it would be it would be truly overwhelming to be in that in that arena experiencing that um but i would prefer to share it with someone and uh and 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 i don't know if i could convince murph to go <laughs> <laughs> he might you though. and murph at a at why do i keep saying dinosaur jr picturing you and murph at taylor swift taylor swift dinosaur jr that's the other thing is i'm i'm pl i am playing a I know, silver am i spark. manifesting something right now what is this i, am, I don't I'm know i'm playing a sil i'm playing a silver sparkle stingray bass and last night i realized like wow i'm actually this is like a taylor themed bass that i'm playing mm-hmm and jay when we started off the show he was playing his purple sparkle sparkled telecaster so we started the show all sparkly and I was like oh this is this is relevant because the streets it, it's sparkling Melbourne <laughs> is sparkling <laughs> for three nights wow and she's, she's I can't I can't believe she's doing like uh successive shows like night after she's doing three shows in a row taking on the energy of 98,000 people that's I can't remarkable. even comprehend. But you know, I was thinking about it. So, so she's playing that stadium, um, and it's almost a hundred thousand people. But how big are the audience? Um, how big are the audiences like um, at like Glastonbury and Coachella when you're? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They yeah. can get big like that. They can get big. Can't I'm they sure get like? I'm sure. Oasis played to they probably played a hundred thousand people at Wembley. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I was just curious. I was like, and I remember when you said you played, you know, opening for um, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah. How how many people were at that? I heard ninety, but I don't know if that's true or not. Now that I think about it, that was at wow. the Munich. It was at the Munich Olympic Stadium. We opened okay. for the Red Hot Chili Peppers. To, to people who were really waiting for the Red Hot Chili Peppers. They were really... They were like, who's this dinosaur junior But they were business? polite. I have to say, they were polite. They did not oh. throw... Gar they did not throw rocks and garbage at us. That's nice. They really they really sat there and, and waited patiently for the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh. And that was nice. And that was a cool, that was a cool experience because I could watch the... I watched them build the stage and take the stage down in the course of the day because we had a wonderful view from our dressing room. And then you got to speak to Flea. Yep. I, yeah, I got to speak to Flea. And I well, just mentioned that because isn't he the other is he he's the bass player, right? Yeah. <laughs> is he the <laughs> bass player? He is the, he's the bass player. I don't, and he was okay. very nice. He's very nice and he 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 knows all about music and indie rock and things like that. All I know is that his wife uh, makes really cool clothing and I bought a pair of her pants. She was a Seb she was was or is a Sebado <laughs> fan, so that's kind of cool. And oh, really? Yeah, that's why he spoke to me because he's like he was like my wife really enjoys your music. I think you so, might it, Okay. 
Think I might what? Well, I'm like, are you thinking about his wife that he's married to now? I have no idea. When was this? Could have been. Let's just say it's probably a past wife. Okay. A, a past wife. <laughs> I just wife. don't. I mean, I'm not. I'm not saying that his wife now. I think her name is Melanie. Is not a Sabato fan. She could be. She could be. Well, it's probably 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 the other one. Let's just say that because a lot of okay. time has passed. A lot of time yeah. has passed. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, I bought change. pants from his Lives the wife, change. Melanie. Um, oh, she's a really cool designer. Oh, and then also you, you've purchased a dress from uh, a wife of Candlebox. Is that correct? Yes. The Candlebox? Yes. The lead singer of Candlebox. I know. So. Yeah. 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 Uh, Natalie. Natalie Martin. She, she makes cool dresses that people compliment She makes beautiful for. dresses. Well, speaking of uh, changes, you know, I have to play. I'm going to play a Dinosaur Junior song. Uh, Adele it is Benny Music be, Monday. Yeah, she thought already. it was. She thought that I should uh, I should play a Dinosaur Junior song, and I thought that that she? was you mean a me? fine idea. She, yes. she Adele, who <laughs> I'm, I'm looking she. at right now, and uh, so I I broke a string on my guitar this morning when I was practicing this song, which I was like, this is bad to break a string because I had no I have no extras I have no way of getting an extra string you need mm. to go to bed soon we're because of this time zone thing yep you're waking up zones, I'm going to bed which the time zones are really it's it, it, it's a very difficult time zone difference to to navigate for us truly so we have a small small window so I'm gonna play the song left right this is one of the first songs that I wrote for you this is off of Give a Glimpse of What You're Not. Is it? I, don't know. I think so. I can't tell him. I can't tell him. Yeah. It also had um, <laughs> Love Is that you wrote. Oh, the, oh, those were the two. Yeah, this is a song yeah. that we pl We actually played live, and Jay played bass on it. This is one of the first songs he... This is the first song that he played bass live on for my oh, song, and I, wow. got, I play guitar. And the second one being Garden, which, we're, which is currently in our set list. That's so cool. This, okay. So this is a this is a, a limited string version of left right, but I think it sounded fine. Cool. I mean, we'll we'll see if I fuck it up, and if I fuck it up, I don't. Whatever. Maybe I'll fuck it up for me, baby. I'll sneak in a, 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 a like a, a perfect version, but. Okay. Okay. You're doing great, boo boo. <laughs> You're lovely. You're wicked good. Wicked. Wicked. I'm in I'm in Massachusetts and we say wicked so. They say wicked everywhere now, by the way. Do they? They do. Wicked wicked made wicked made the Wicked crossed, Wicked has it's, migrated. It's crossed everywhere. oceans. It's it's like it's everywhere. It's, Interesting. It's everywhere. when I moved to Massachusetts it was only there. I had never heard wicked until I lived here. Oh really? Yeah. Never. I was like, hmm. why do people wicked. keep saying wicked? <laughs> wicked, wicked, wicked is cool. Wicked cool. Yeah, wicked cool. It's really good. <laughs> it's sorry. Wicked. All right. Give me the love, baby. <laughs> Let me give you the love. Oh, left, right, I made a march of mystery. Like left faces right, I'll never decide. My fate is my fate. I'll lie back and
<laughs> nice. Wicked good. Yeah, with, with that five... was sick and wicked good. <laughs> <laughs> with five five strings. Oof. I can only really I see say... three there. Well, you see the big three, but there's two there was there's generally three skinny ones. Generally. Okay. There is. It's a six string guitar. Generally. <laughs> But the, but the but the cool the kind of cool thing is the string that's missing that I broke, the G string. Interestingly, <laughs> sometimes is, uh, G string can snap. <laughs> it's a uh, tug on that too hard. What did I? What did I? G string. Oh. Okay, I can't remember. There was something someone uh, a woman said to Jason Lowenstein once early in uh, Sebado. It was like your. Your E string vibrated my G string. It's like the only it's like the only sexual thing that was ever said to a member of Sebado <laughs> re, re, regarding a performance. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. And the only the only other thing that, that, that would be comparable to that was um we played a big show in Boston once at the uh, big theater there and uh it's kind of the biggest show that we'd played in Boston. And this woman got up on stage and took off her top and just stood and just stood next to me. There's very funny pictures of her just standing, casually standing next to me with her top off. Oh my and, gosh. Uh, yeah. She was like, I vowed to myself that I would take off my top at a Sebado show. And she did. She held true to herself. Did you talk true. to her? Did you like I did. I did talk to her, I think maybe after the fact, because she when she did that they had they you know the security then felt you know uh, obliged to remove her from the stage although she was just standing next to me amazing just, yeah how were her tits they were big they were big <laughs> i i um i think i had talked i talked to her later like hey i'm the one who took my top off at the sebado show and then she oh. kind of told me what the what the sketch was and and why she did it. And I think in the course of why the, did the she do it? Because she said to herself, I think she she realized that the irony of taking off her top at a Sebado show was just irresistible. <laughs> Sebado and the, the point. Being I that, love like, her woman. Are you listening <laughs> to this podcast? And please raise I, I'm, your I'm, hand or one of your and boobs. If, 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 <laughs> <laughs> please gently Please lift gently your, lift a boob up. I uh, lift it. Lift a Tammy. Lift lift one of those Tammies up. Show me <laughs> your she, Tammies. These were these were Tammies for sure. Like that's I'll tell you. <laughs> if, ever, if there were, ever was were a, on display. <laughs> if ever there was a a breast that was a Tammy, it, it was those. Did she I think actually I, take off her top like once she got on stage, or did she like remove her shirt and then like? get on the stage I, I don't remember because i was playing and generally I'm, I'm staring at my fretboard desperately trying to play the correct notes so <clears throat> but i i think um, did you were you aware that someone was standing next to you with their top off i i did become aware of that yes did you did you like look and go huh do i keep playing like what what is the well, i just looked up like i said it was very casual it was very casual <laughs> it, it wasn't it wasn't any kind of like kid rock shit you know what i'm saying yeah it yeah. was like, it was just, you know, it wasn't, you know. You were like, bend over, let me see that whale tail. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's a G-string, dear. Whale you tail? heard that? Whale tail? No, I don't. I... Oh, is a G-string just a thong? Is it just a, a G thong? <laughs> I don't even know what it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well... Okay, I think I'm not wrong, <laughs> but I think it's when it's just literally like, maybe like, you know, when it's like a string up your butt crack, literally a string, yeah. and then like a string around the waist, and then maybe like a tri tiny little triangle mm. fabric. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, a thong. Well, and no, a, th a thong could also have like a wider, like, piece of fabric <laughs> going in your butt crack, but like... um to me, a thong is like something that lives in your butt crack. And whereas like a G string to me is like literally a string in your butt crack. Folks, you want to weigh in on the difference and, you know, between a G string and a thong? So a and thong then a whale would tail, I so thought, a, could a, only a be thong, from a G string. A thong <laughs> could, a thong then would cover your anus, but a G string would not. 
I would, I mean, I could say that like, yeah, a thong might have a little bit more fabric to cover the actual butthole. <laughs> <laughs> if we're talking specifics, I don't know. I'm sure I could Google it and be really shocked, but. I, I think I'm going to be happy to let this episode go over 15 minutes. This sure. is mega, mega music, mega music Monday. A whale of a Monday. A wicked, <laughs> sick <laughs> whale tail of a Monday. Well, um, <laughs> on that note. And, and on that note, <laughs> Mini Music Monday concludes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Music Mini Monday concludes. Thank you for listening. <laughs>